Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a Windows 11 bootable USB that bypasses not only the TPM and secure boot requirement, but also the requirement for you to sign into a Microsoft account. Okay, so without further ado, let's start here. First, you'll need to compile the ISO using UUP dump again because this is a release preview build of Windows 11 that we are using here. The official public release build, that is Windows 11 21H2, won't work here. Our creation tool, Rufus, only supports removing Microsoft account requirements, starting with Windows 11 build 22H2. If you are on the uepdump.net site, you will see this um, pinned label right here that says Windows 11 22H2. You can go ahead and click on that and it's gonna return many results including the two major releases of Windows 11. So there are Windows 11 version 22H2, either the ARM64 and the AMD64 version that you can see right here. Because I'm gonna be running it in a virtual machine later, I'm gonna download the AMD64 version because I'm not running on ARM right now on my desktop. For time's sake, I'm not going into too much detail about how to compile using UP dump in this video. I've done a previous video on how to do that, and I'll provide the link to that video in the description below, as well as it should be popping up on the screen right now in the corner right there, so if you guys want to watch it, just check it out. Okay. So now that we have our compiled ISO, we're going to drag it onto the desktop for ease of access later. Um, okay, we're going to drag it on the desktop here. And now we are going to need a tool called Rufus. That's a USB media creation tool. So before we go into the version 3.19, we're going to pop into version 3.17 and take a look. So if you select a disk and drag the ISO in, you'll see under image option that it gives three options to load this ISO onto the USB. You can either have a standard Windows 11 installation that's with all the requirements of TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot or you can bypass those requirements instead, or you can create a Windows 2 Go drive. But, where Rufus 3.19 is special, is that it allows us to bypass the online Microsoft account requirement. So we selected a drive, and then now I'm gonna drag in the ISO. So now under image option, you are not gonna see um, skipping any requirements or standard Windows 11 installation because that's been moved to another menu. So now you have your standard settings on this menu. And I'm just gonna give the driver name right here and then I don't need to tweak anything other than that. So I'm just gonna click start. And then here's the menu I was referring to when I was talking about image options. How there was no option to change your TPM settings and your secure boot settings. Well, it's all been moved to this menu. So as you can see here, it gives us four options to remove things from our Windows installation. So the first one says remove requirement for secure boot and TPM 2.0. That's what we saw in Rufus 3.17. The second one removes the requirement for four gigabytes plus of memory and 64 gigabytes plus of disk space. That's another requirement of standard Windows 11 installation that many of you may not know about. And the third one is the main thing that we are looking at today. That's the online Microsoft account requirement. So we wanna remove both secure boot TPM and the online Microsoft requirement for this demonstration. So we're gonna select those two boxes and leave the other two unchecked. If you guys wanna see 
another video where I check the other two boxes. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll do it in the future. But that's it for now. We are going to click the first and third boxes and then we're going to start the process. So just click OK and then make sure you've backed up everything on your disk, on your USB drive and then click OK again. For the sake of screen capturing, I'm still going to be using a virtual environment for this process. Okay, we're going to use this as a sacrificial virtual machine and I'm just going to tweak some settings. So we're going to give it 6 gigabytes of memory and for, for our boot drive, I've added a new hard disk that's using a physical disk. So that's using physical drive 7 or my drive that roof is created and um, for my hard disk 2 I'm gonna I'm gonna add a new NVMe disk and this will be a new virtual disk so this will have a size of um, let's say 128 gigabytes all right and then if we look over here the two network adapters are all tweaked to be host only so not connect to the internet that's another requirement in order to make the local account work without connecting to a microsoft account so remember to tweak that if you have it already or you can just go ahead and unplug the ethernet on your machine and uh, i'm gonna fire up this virtual machine and immediately hit f2 to make sure i enter into the bios and as you can see, that's the drive that was created by Rufus. Here it's basically like any Windows 11 installation. So just select your language, time and keyboard, click next. Select I don't have a product key. Here select the edition of Windows you want to install. And then agree to the license agreement. And finally select the drive you want to install to. I'm going to use my 128GB drive that I just added. Upon the first restart, hit whatever key needed to go into BIOS or else you're gonna get this recovery screen. Now once in the BIOS, manually enter the drive that you just installed Windows 11 to. And then I'll prep a few things and then restart again. Once again, upon that restart, you're gonna enter the BIOS and manually enter the drive that you installed to. And finally, it will take you to the proper Windows setup on the installed device. So here, pretty standard Windows 11 setup. Select your region, keyboard, and then it will ask you for you to connect to the internet. Here, it's very important that you don't connect to the internet. So select I don't have internet. And then on the next screen, continue with limited setup. And the next screen is going to be the local account creation. So this is prompting you for the name of your local account. So just enter name and click next. Create a password for your account. Confirm your password. Create a couple of security questions just like in Windows 10 setup. And configure some privacy settings. Then give Windows a little bit of time to set up. After which you will be taken to your desktop your Microsoft accountless desktop. Thanks to some movie magic, here we are on our Windows 11 desktop. Now all we gotta do is install some drivers. If you guys are running on bare metal, you'll have to install the actual drivers, say from Intel, Nvidia, or AMD. 
Whereas for me, I'm gonna have to install VMware tools because I'm running in a virtual environment. What VMware tool does is basically acts like a set of drivers that lets the virtual environment communicate effectively with the host environment. For example, after installing the drivers, the display, instead of being a square, will become normal, will fit to the actual window size of the VMware virtual environment. Now that VMware Tools is installed and it's actually full screen, let's take a look at the account. So if we pop into the Windows logo window here, you can see that my account is purely local and that is verified in settings where we have the local account as the administrator. That marks the effective conclusion of this video. If you guys liked it, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.